There's a lot of people who ask me about downtown Asheville. There's lots of rumors, uh, you know, talking about different things about downtown Asheville. So I thought what would be most useful for you is for me just to take a walk around downtown. And here we are on a Wednesday night and let's see what it's like. We're on a secret mission. Hi, I'm Beth Shadler, and we are living in Asheville, where we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Asheville, North Carolina, and downtown, and the surrounding mountain areas. So, if you want to learn more about Asheville and what it could be like to live here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click that little bell, and you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. So, what we're going to do is just kind of walk around and see what it's like to be downtown on a normal weekday night. Yeah, Who's here? said it was the best dessert spot. Here? That's what he's saying, yeah. Did you have anything yet? Are you going in? Are you just up there almost every other day? Every other day? You're you look pretty fit Sometimes for having cough. something in old Europe every other day. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so, like I said, it's a Wednesday night. It is about 7.30 p.m. We're doing our thing. Hey there. How's it going? Fine, thank you. People are getting some newspapers. This is the Beauty Academy, which used to be Tresses. They are having karaoke, porn star karaoke. I just talked to the bartender inside. Um, I've never been to porn star karaoke, but it surely sounds interesting. I'm not even sure what it would be. So things are kind of starting to shut down around now. They're, they've had a busy day. This is not like peak tourism time. This is kind of where the locals come out during the week and they're having a nice dinner, visiting with friends. Maybe they're networking. If they work downtown, they're meeting people for drinks. Let's check out the Mellow Mushroom. Now the Mellow Mushroom has been a staple in Asheville since two, I don't even know when it opened, but I think it was here when I lived, when I moved here in 2001. And this is always a great time. You can sit outside, it's kind of psychedelic. And the pizza is really good too in Calzones. And it's a good meeting place. Don't tell. We refuse to use the white lines. Here's a gourmet chip company for all your gourmet chip needs. It's okay. Oh no, it's not. Yeah. He's like, thanks for not walking during the green light. Now he's stopped for people that are walking. <laughs> well, yeah, they had their right. Okay, sneaking. Let's go. So there's lots of parking downtown. I typically don't have trouble finding a parking spot. It's paid parking. Unless you can park on the street after 6 for free. And it's not really hard to find parking spots even on the the street after six especially not on a weeknight maybe on a weekend ah oh, is this no this is the social oh yeah take a gander in there and then strada italiano i love the ravioli here look at these little kiddos Asheville chocolate what is it though oh they have gelato inside Look in some of these, look in some of these restaurants. There's so much ambiance in there. I mean, there's art and murals throughout the whole city. Oh, and here's the pub cycle. Not so busy tonight. Not a lot of riders. Supposedly though, you drink beer and pedal around town. It looks like there's only one guy on there tonight. So that would be kind of lonely or maybe they own it. And here's your local bodega. So if you're like from New York City and you're used to having a corner shop or a bodega, there you go. Ah, great sushi here at Wasabi. Aha, oh, the fire. So we have a lot of hotels downtown. So if you're coming to stay, it's kind of fun to stay downtown because then you can walk everywhere. And there's a lot to see and do downtown, so you will not be left with any sort of boredom. 
So it's getting kind of dark out now, but we might have to finish up this another time. There's people playing music. And so here we are in the very center of town. If you look behind us, this is like really is the landmark of downtown Asheville. There used to be a big monument there, but there's not one anymore. They took it down. And this is the city buildings. This is where the court system is and the old jail. There's also a big open green space there now where they have events like Shindig on the Green um, or other kind of like static dance events or music festivals, things like that. A big gathering space. Also, it's where the big crafty arts and craft festival is held. And if you're gonna protest something, this is the place where you go to protest it or like get excited about something in general right here because that's where everybody drives by. So now we're heading down to the kind of center uh, to the Pritchard Park area from the main area of downtown. I want to be in the video. You do? You're in the video. You're already, you already made it. This is one of our favorite Caribbean restaurants called Salsa's. The food will make your mouth explode with flavor. I have no vested interest in the place of, uh, like in this establishment. But when we have date night, this place has been around forever. When we have date night, this is where we go. You can even eat outside in the alleyway. <laughs> it's so popular, I will eat in the alleyway, no problem. And if you want a good burger, here you go. Barn burger. There's like fun faces and heads and unusual colors and weird teeth. Asheville Music Hall. Are you hanging out going to a show? Yeah, we're stand-up comics. You're stand-up comic? Oh, I've met you before. Yeah. So this is the SNW building. And this is a historic building. But now they've made it into like kiosks of different um, pastries and like little versions of restaurants that they have here in Asheville. And so you can go in there and see a lot of different people and have great conversations and taste little parts of Asheville. And it's a fun thing to do. And upstairs is Highland Brewing, one location of Highland Brewing of the mini. You'll see something new that is in Asheville called the Breakout Room. I don't know a lot about it, but I know people really, really enjoy it. And you pay to be kidnapped or something like that. I guess the thrill of it is worth the excitement of the cost. Or maybe you can trauma bond. <laughs> I'm not sure, but people love it. And then if you look here, this is Pritchard Park. And Pritchard Park is the world's smallest park it's really really tiny it's in the middle of Asheville and this is where the drum circle is held on Friday night so if you're in Asheville and you want to see where it all started come to the drum circle on Friday nights so here's the deal it's kind of getting dark outside and plus I want to give you lots of different perspectives so how about we cut it here and I'll come back during uh, another day maybe a Friday afternoon or a Saturday afternoon and show you what it's like on the weekends and here we are it is now a Saturday night in Asheville totally different scene and it's light again boom magic let's see what's going on so we have a totally different scene now thank you it's lively <laughs> it's still Cool, uh, warm enough outside to just to kind of be in short sleeves, but at the same time, it's getting cooler and there's that vibe in the air that fall is on its way. People are out. They are not messing around tonight. Let's head over um, onto Wall Street, which is probably going to be a little bit quieter. And look, you have the big flat iron representing the flat iron building. This is a really cute street that does not have a lot of traffic because it's pretty much just one lane. And it just has a wonderful background backdrop as well. Some outdoor cafes a pottery shop. One of my favorite things to do with my kids is to spend an afternoon going to Fired Up, which is where you can make your own pottery. Um, and you just paint it and you sit at a table and you 
get to connect and interact one-on-one -on -one while you're doing some sort of artistic endeavor. And then you get to come back a week later and pick it up and you have something to keep from that moment. So if you look down Wall Street here, it might be a little hard with the sun, you'll see how quaint it is. And if you notice, just a minute ago, we were in the chaos of the center. And now it feels like just a neighborhood walk, but we're still in the heart of downtown Asheville. People are sitting outside, having some food, strolling down the road. Okay, so when you think about Asheville, you think about people who are into holistic eating, natural foods, spiritual living, and the laughing seat is the first thing that comes up because it's been here for a long time, at least 20 plus years, and the quality is fabulous. So heading across the street to the iconic Painted Steps, we'll head back up to the Grove Arcade. Oh look, what does this say? Oh, it says Asheville loves you too. Hmm. So now we're heading up to the Grove Arcade. This is a shopping mall that was built years and years ago. If you look over here, there is an inside to it, but it's in the early 1920s this was built. And now it is still a shopping arcade or a shopping mall per se, but has a totally historic feel and it is so interesting to be there. On the outside, there's lots of restaurants. You'll see tons of people sitting outside and dining and there's lots of different cuisines. In Asheville, you'll see that they love their dogs. So you'll see water bowls around everywhere because people bring their dogs out to eat with them. Not necessarily inside, but if they're sitting outside, it's okay. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so there's a lot of bachelorette parties in Asheville. Why? I don't know. I guess it's a good destination to come party with your girlfriends. But here they have a Venmo, so I'm like, so if you want to send them money, you can. But. Oh, yay! And here we have the Spice Walla, which is somehow connected to the award-winning Chai Pani restaurant, which you'll see later that has a line out the door almost every night. But here's where you can go get all your Indian spices and that wonderful warm cup of chai that I crave so often. I wish you could smell this right now because it's intoxicating. What is your affiliation with Chai Pani? Um, it's the same owner. Okay. Yeah. The same marijuana, it's like I have hair, so he owns both. Okay. Yeah, it smells incredible in here. And you can buy chai, right? Like already kind of prepared. So we're out of our chai for the day, unfortunately. That but can yes, happen. usually we have hot chai. Okay, cool. Thank you. Here we have some Hawaiian food at Huli Susie's. Huli Sue's. Huli Sue's. So here we have the Basilica St. Lawrence. Now this was built by an architect from Spain who originally came to Asheville because he just loved Asheville. He came to New York City and then found Asheville and was like, this is my place. He did some work at the Biltmore Estate, like some tile work in the entryway and did the swimming pool at the Biltmore. And then got this job. And in 1909, this church was finished. And it's absolutely spectacular and one of the oldest churches in Asheville. And if you've ever been to a big show in Asheville, you know the Civic Center. It is where the Warren Haynes Christmas Jam takes place and like big acts like Ava Brothers or Dave Matthews. I don't know who's cool now, but that's where they play inside the Civic Center. And there's an also like a smaller auditorium where we saw Beck and who else did we see there? I can't remember, but it's a little bit more intimate and has chairs and, um, more, of course, like an auditorium. And so, you know, you hear about Asheville being kind of quirky and things like that. This is kind of what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but what's going on there? I don't know. So you'll see here a group of men gathered. They have been let out of captivity to drink beer for one night by their wives. Aha, now we've hit Mala Props. Mala Props is our local treasure of a bookstore. How many bookstores are still kind of thriving now? Not many, but this one definitely is. It is world renowned with its authors and signings 
and talks, and it really keeps our local culture alive by bringing reading back to existence and creating community around it. We like our music. So if you end up being a local in Asheville, you come downtown sometimes, right? I mean, downtown sometimes is also reserved for tourists. And there's lots of places outside of downtown that you can also uh, be a part of if you're not looking for the hustle and bustle. Now, keep in mind, this is now a Saturday night and with perfect weather. So there's a lot of people out doing stuff, eating some ice cream, having a good time, visiting from other places, having a bachelorette party. And, but as a local, I don't come downtown a lot. I come downtown maybe once every two weeks. It's either to go to a concert, to go um, meet up with friends, or to go to a restaurant that I'm just craving. Or I have people in town, and I take them downtown and be like, hey, what's going on? But it's not something that is a normal, everyday part of life unless you work downtown. Look at these flowers. Why do you think there are flowers here at a construction site? So behind me, you'll see the Haywood Park Hotel. This is a great place to stay in town so that you're in the mix of everything happening. Um, and yeah, just a fabulous place to stay. Up here we have Chai Pani, which has won the James Beard Award, um, has a world-renowned chef. We were earlier in the Spice Walla, which I talked about is related to Chai Pani. And often you'll see people lined up all the way. Now it was like this earlier and it looks like they've all got their tables now. And look, I even know somebody over there. There's Sheridan. Are you enjoying your food? Cheers, cheers to you all. Thank you. I wanted to point out this be kind sign because one of the values that a lot of the residents share here is kindness, respecting community. So you'll see these random signs up all over the place that will say things like, you are enough, or you are loved, or be kind, or take a deep breath, or this is a positive sign, there are billboards. We'll get into the person that's behind that in another episode. But in the meantime, I just want you to pay attention to the overall vibe of Asheville and kind of what we stand for because it is important to us to respect each other, to be kind, to be mindful, and have a strong sense of community. So over here, you'll see the Fine Arts Theater. This is where you could go see a lot of independent films, ones that are not at the main movie theaters, and artistic films been around for a long time and it's a staple here in Nashville. So here we are back again at the center in Pack Square where the Big Crafty takes place. There's lots of festivals and if you're curious about kind of what we stand for and what we're about here in Nashville, it's kind of like that. So let's head into, what is the hotel? AC Hotel by Marriott to go to Capella on Nine and see what we can see up there. So if you're thinking about moving to Asheville and you want a personalized experience, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be glad to walk you through the process, whether you're nine days out or 90 days out, whether you're moving from across town or across the country or across the world, we'd be glad to create a personalized plan for you. And if you want to learn more about Asheville in general, hit that subscribe button, click that little bell. You'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Now there's one last thing you have to see. You don't want to miss this.
You can't forget the rooftop bars in Asheville. There's quite a few of them, and there's nothing like sitting here and watching the Blue Ridge Mountains uh, with the sun setting on top of it. It's absolutely gorgeous, and the weather is perfect, crisp, and delightful, and the ambiance and the people are too. <laughs> So let's go check out the scene. So here you see the city building. These are like where the, the court system is and everything like that. There are mountains that kind of surround the whole downtown. On the left over here, you can see the Grove Park Inn in the distance, the Renaissance Hotel, and then there's condos all above these businesses too. So you can live in the heart of downtown and be able to just walk everywhere. So there you have it, downtown Asheville. Is it what you thought it'd be? So there's so much to do and see and explore and whatever you're into, we got it. So thanks for, thanks for staying with us through the whole journey. If you want to learn more, hit subscribe, click that little bell. Until then, ciao for now. <laughs>